strategies and techniques can be completely different depending on the season and the time of year on any body of water. I was on the lower Sacramento River with Brian Flint, who's a guide there in Northern California, and I asked him about the seasons on the lower sack and what you should target and what, how, what those differences are in those seasons. So out here on the lower sack, it, it is a 365 fishery. Um, it's not known to get a lot of snow in this area. It might snow once in the winter and it doesn't stick. It, it doesn't really get into conditions where your rods are going to be iced out or it's too cold where you can't fish because your eyelets on your rod are completely iced out. So that's really nice. The winter conditions are pretty chill. Um, when it rains, it, it, it makes the fishing better. As long as it's not too windy and it's not raining too hard, the fishing is good. The bugs are great. Um, it, it truly is a 365 fishery. We got wild trout, wild rainbow trout, steelhead, salmon, and four runs of uh, salmon. It's amazing. You can't go wrong out here. Um, it, it is a tailwater, so it is regulated. They do tend to keep the temperatures uh, the same all year long. So ethically, it's a great fishery for that. Um, a lot of these fish have never been caught. Um, there's just so many fish in this river that you really don't catch fish that have been caught before. Very rarely do you catch a fish that maybe has a messed up jaw or anything like that. But that's the beauty of this place. You really don't catch fish that have ever been caught. There's tons of them. There is opportunity for dry fly and things like that. In the springtime, this river gets some salmon fly hatches, some marsh browns, a lot of PMDs, and the river really starts waking up following the winter. Um, summer's amazing. It's, you know, the middle of the day can be tough, really hot, really bright, but you can still get it done. The mornings and the evenings are excellent. Uh, the evenings being prolific as far as hatches just excellent caddis hatches um fall you know august july august that time really starts kicking off the egg bite so after a great summer you get right to an egg bite and those fish just start fattening up on salmon eggs it's just ridiculous and then to top that off you know don't get it wrong these fish will still key in on tiny midges because it is a tailwater and there's been days where we've had exceptional fishing with just midges. It is tricky, it's a big piece of water. It's it's tricky, it's hard to access, but um, once you learn it, it's well worth it. The, it's ton There's tons of wild trout, and it's very, very productive. One of the best pieces of water in California, if not on the West Coast. Lower Sac, I typically think from Posse Ground, Sundial area, down to Anderson, maybe Jelly's Ferry, that area. I mean, that is the lower sack, but that's the typical runs. Um, you can go up above the sun, the sundial area if you have a motor, and then you get to the dam. But that whole area is typically the best because, in my opinion, it's the end of the road for the salmon. That's where they make their home. Um, and the trout seem to respond to that. There's a lot of structure up here and a lot of good runs, whereas lower down the river, it can be flatter. But just this upper, upper lower section can be quite amazing. We can get you in touch with guides like Brian Flint. Just give us a call, text, or email. Got Brian himself guides up here on the Sacramento River where we spent the day, as well as the McLeod and Pitt River up here in Northern California. So let us know. We'll get you in contact, and we'll see you right here next time on the Backcast. <music>